All right, welcome back everybody to Operation Eclipse. This is the Commonwealth and Free France turn nine, I believe. Yes. Um, still uh, at peace with Japan so far, so that's pretty interesting. Though they do look like they are uh, setting themselves up to surprise strike, potentially surprise strike quite a few areas. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, otherwise, we'll just hop straight into the turn. Um, we do have two tech rolls: one for our factory in Ottawa, and one for our factory in uh, Sydney that we upgraded. Um, so we're going to be rolling for long-range aircraft, and then I'd hoped, you know, maybe Italy would stop rolling for advanced subs, but. Since they have continued, we will also go for anti-submarine warfare as our two tech rolls this turn. So we'll go ahead and roll those and see what we get. Looks like we are going to succeed on anti-submarine warfare and bring it up to three. It looks like we're going to fail on long-range aircraft, and it's only going to be uh, going to stay at stage three for now. All right, that does affect our combat. Um, might also affect our buys a little bit. Um, thinking about doing this attack with the tech bomber, but that's no longer possible. So, let's see. What do I want to do instead with this? Down here. Let's see. here. Hopefully the power doesn't kick off. Um, let's see. So we do those two there. Pretty well. Protects that. And then we can just do that there. And that'll be fine, I think. Alright. Um, we're actually not going to change any of our buys. I think we all got it settled. Um, so we have quite a bit of money to spend it, um, this turn as Great Britain, hoping that continues. Um, so with our $36 um, as GB, we're going to be buying three militia, two militia upgrades. We're going to be lend leasing an infantry to Free France. Um, we're going to be buying two colonials, a marine, and a regular infantry. And in these four motorized infantry, uh, represent the four facility damage that we are going to be repairing on our major factory in London, um, getting that um, back to full operation there. Um, FEC has 16 and is going to be spending all 16 of its dollars, um, eight of it on colonials, four on a Gurkha, and four on an anti-aircraft gun. For a, um, so like I said, it's going to be all of it. And then Anzac is also spending all nine of its dollars. It's going to be buying two militia and infantry for itself. It's going to be uh, leasing a militia as well to the Soviets. All right, so it's going to clear a bank there. Um, so we will move into combat moves. Don't have any uh, in the Pacific. We do have... Um, I don't think we're going to have any... In Africa, it's sad. But we are going to have our attack bomber that's in the first fleet. It's going to come off the light carrier and go into M8 on map and try to kill off this Italian sub. Um, the light carrier is going to stay in M4. Um, the transport is going to stay here for now as well. But the first fleet is going to move up into M3. It's going to be joined by the battleship, or the FEC battleship, as well as the um, FEC light carrier. And then we're going to have our fighter um, attack southern Italy. Along with our transport from northern Algeria, it's going to pick up our mountain brigade and our regular infantry and come up into M3 as well. And they're going to amphibiously assault Southern Italy. 
and we're going to have um, two of our battleships designated as bomb boards for that. Um, that leaves us with a battleship, two heavy cruisers, a battle cruiser, two light cruisers, three destroyers, a sub, and light carrier as the screening force. Um, the Axis at most could have a battleship, battle cruiser, heavy cruiser, and two fighters, so I'm assuming they don't want to screen against this. Um, they could probably deal um, a bit of damage, but we would ultimately uh, wipe them out pretty well, I think. Um, so I might send him a message real fast uh, just to see if we can get a response, but I'm going to assume that that is not something that's going to happen. Um, apologies, should have done this earlier, but I'll send it real quick. Like I said, I'm assuming that screening battle is not going to happen. Um, but we'll go into our other things. Um, I think actually all that's here is this down here. Um, we are going to move our sub up into A5 since that seaplane now has long-range aircraft behind it. We're going to raid there. Uh, we can go ahead and raid. Um, we'll do red is the attacker's... Um, at a plus two. That's going to be a full damage. Um, so, two convoy line damage tokens. And we'll take two away from the German bank, putting them at 52. back real quick on that. We can go ahead and do this tech bomber roll. Um, it'll hit at a 7. And that is a hit exactly, so that sub is dead. And I have just turned back, and the Electrion has decided not to scramble. Um, so we'll go ahead and roll for our 
attack into southern Italy. Uh, we have two battleship bombards out of four. So really helping between the battleship bombards and the fact that it's just a militia here that we're not going to have to take double casualties, but you know, who knows. Um, anyway, these are the two battleship bombards at four or less. And that's a hit on one of those, so we'll take that for free. I do believe that is all of the combat movements that we are going to do. Um, so for non-combat movements, uh, we'll take care of the aftermath of some of this. Our fighter is going to land on the light carrier. Uh, they are in M3. Our attack bomber is going to come back and land in M4. Um, the Anzac destroyer in, in, in M2 is going to move 1-2 into M6. Um, the rest of the ships in M2 are going to move over into M4. It would be nice if they would actually be... There we go. That coastal defense ship just ruins those buttons for tabletop simulator for some reason. Anyway, so these ships are here. Um, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. Um, and then we're going to move our torpedo boat destroyer that's imported in Gibraltar over into M4 as well. Um, our AAA in Tunisia is going to move down into Triple Tania. The um, Colonial in Western Egypt is going to move over into Lower Egypt. Transport that's in port in Gibraltar is going to go one, two, three, and go into port in southern England. Um, we're going to move a fighter from London into southern England, and we're going to move the AA down from northern England down into southern England. Our coastal defense ship, we're going to move into port into northern England that we got from the Danish. Uh, I think that just leaves these two transports to deal with. Um, we are going to, I think, leave one of them with this fleet. Oh, um, one thing I do want to do here with this fleet, we are going to put um, the two heavy cruisers into port in Tripoli. The two transports um, we are going to, one of them we're going to send over to uh, Gibraltar. The other one, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Um, I got this one up here for those two. This one, this one. I think this one we're just going to keep in M4 for now. Um, We'll stick it in port in Tripoli as well. fish to fry. Um, that's true. We're just going to leave the transport out of port, actually. Um, it's going to stay in the sea zone. Okay. Um, over here, uh, I'm not going to have any movement of this army, and not going to have um, movement here, with the exception of our transport. Our transport, I think, are going to sacrifice it. Take a militia off of South Island, stick it into Sydney, and uh, 
yeah, Japan can kill that if it so desires. Um, otherwise, I think we're good to place buys. So we'll go ahead and do that. Let's we'll start with Anzac. So the two militia and the infantry are all going into Sydney. You can't survive a potential surprise strike on it. I think only three planes can reach here, so... Um, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, FEC units. The two colonials are going into British Malaya. The anti-air is, of course, going to Calcutta, since it has to be built at the factory. And then the Gurkha is being built into Benares. Um, the militia, the infantry, or that the um, Anzac is releasing to the Soviets. We're going to start uh, in, in, uh, at the major shipyard in New South Wales, and we're going to go this way. I did check this, and it is shorter um, to do this than it is to go through the um, Mediterranean. That way we can uh, ignore the Italian subs that are along the way. Um, so that is going to be a additional um, Soviet militia in the 94th. And if for whatever reason I traced that supply path wrong, then we'll just have to roll an interdiction potential. Um, but I'm pretty sure I got it correct. Um, the UK infantry is going to be Free France uh, infantry to Syria, which doesn't face any interdiction along its way. The rest of the buys we can go ahead and place. So like I said, the Ford Motorized and the Airborne are all destined for London. Um, with the Ford Motorized actually being repairing all of that damage off the major factory there. The um, one militia and one infantry are going to Cape Town. A, uh, the two militia upgrades are for um, Nubia and Lower Egypt. Two militia are for um, one's for Tripoli, the other is for Lower Egypt, and then our marine is going to be built in um, northern England, and our two colonials are destined for Africa, one of them into Lower Egypt one of them into Rhodesia. Alright, and so I do believe that is going to be the end of the uh, Commonwealth, turn 9. So we'll collect our monies. Great Britain gets 35, uh, so they go back to 36. Uh, FEC collects 16 again, and then ENZAC collects 7. Um, that moves us over to Free France. Free France isn't going to buy anything with its two dollars. It's going to save those instead and go to four. And then for movement, um, we're going to rail one of the infantry in Syria down to Lower Egypt. And then everything else is going to stay where it is. Um, I thought about this. I don't know if I want to do this or not. Ugh. Hmm. 
make sure I'm not one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, I think it's the shortest, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, apologies, I just now noticed this, um, I think I'm actually going to do an attack with the French man bomber on either the airfield in Abyssinia or potentially just attack it outright. Um, attacking it outright, of course, is a big risk, but potentially a big reward if we can kill that. I um, don't know what else to do with this one. That is risky business. We'd have a seven against a four and a two. Um, or I could bomb the airfield, keep them from attacking Cape Town, and use that militia somewhere else. Or just change the buy for Cape Town. Although, don't really know anything that I could buy for five that I'd want. Instead of the infantry. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Apologies, I just now noticed this while well, in the middle of recording this, so thinking about what to do here. Sometimes fortune does favor the bold, though. Or we can bomb the airfield. Mm -mm -mm. If I take away that militia, I could then lease it to the Soviets and. Intec would have two more dollars to spend. But we placed the max militia in the Sydney though. Could buy one for South Island. Indeed. <sighs> 
take care of some problems. Man, it's a tough decision. Attack Abyssinia directly with the medium bomber. See what happens. Probably lose it, not even kill anything, but uh, it is what it is. Alright, here we go. So our black one is going to be our medium bomber at 7, blue is going to be the Italian infantry at 4, green is going to be the Italian airborne at 2. close to being disastrous. I wish we had gotten a hit. We'll just go again. We're already committed at this point. Alright, so it's going to be a hit on both sides. I will um, send that message to Electrion to see which one he wants to take, since he doesn't get to know that I uh, got hit first. Um... So we'll see what happens there. Uh, a little fast. He has decided to take the casualty on his airborne first, um, so that's what we will do, and both of those get deleted. So uh, we'll see if that wound up being good for us or not. All right. Anyway, um, I do believe that's going to be the end of the Free French turn. The battleship and the destroyer are going to stay in port in Gibraltar, and I think we're going to keep everything else uh, exactly like it is for Free France. So yeah, we already collected our money. Um, I've wasted enough of you guys' time with all these pauses. Uh, so apologies again for that. And uh, we will ship it on over to the Electrion for Italy, turn 9.